Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to recreating this amazing animation of Magmates Media. Okay friends, let's make it. Here I have added my project files, guys. I have downloaded this animation project files from pixabay.com. I will provide download link in the description below. Let's hide first two layers for a moment. Now to the BG image, change its Z axis position. I am keeping its Z axis value at 3000%. Let's unhide the main subject and change its Z axis position. I am keeping its Z axis value at 2000%. Now let's keep this monkey image's Z axis position at 2502%. Let's fit the BG layer to the composition size. Now let's adjust the main subject and the monkey image. Now duplicate the monkey image layer Bring it to the right side of the Joker image. Let me do a little bit of color grading to my BG layer for a stunning scene. The Joker image is too colorful, so let's desaturate a little bit. You need to make a fantastic scene for this kind of animations. Match the each elements to the BG color for a good animation. Now add a rectangle shape. Adjust it as shown. Now change its E axis position. Keep this shape above the all images. Now adjust the position and the scale as shown. Now change this shape color to black. Now apply the Gaussian blur effect and adjust the blur strength as shown. Now make a copy of it. Place it to top. Now extend all these layers duration to 15 seconds. Now add the camera. Active the camera. At the first frame of the camera layer, add the position keyframe. Now move 4.15 seconds forward and add one more position keyframe. At this keyframe, adjust the camera's Z axis position as I shown in the video. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let me adjust the Z axis value at the first keyframe. Now we have something like this. Let's add the rotation keyframe at the first frame of the camera layer. Move here and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the rotation as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. As you can see guys, here the BG image is not fits to the composition area. Let's fix it by using scale keyframes. Add two scale keyframes as I shown. At the first keyframe, increase the scale as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we will create a little rotation animation to the Joker layer. Add the position and rotation keyframes as shown. At the first keyframe, adjust the rotation and position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. In this way, animate the monkey images too. Now apply the Gaussian blur effect to the BG layer. Keep the blur strength value 0% and add a strength keyframe at the first frame. Move here and increase the strength value a little bit. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let's increase all these layers duration to 15 seconds. Now export the animation. Now import the exported clip in a new project. Move to the frame number 4.15. Here add a background image. Before doing anything, let me do a little bit of color grading to this image. Now change this image's Z axis position to 3000%.
Now let's adjust this clip's Z-axis position. Let's fit the background image into the composition area. Let's adjust the position of clips layer. Now enable the shadow. Keep the shadow size to 50% and keep the shadow positions X and Y values to 0%. Now add the camera. Active the camera. Now change camera's Z axis position as shown. Adjust the camera's position until it's perfectly visible the clip's preview. Now, at this frame, add the position keyframe to the camera layer. Now move to the frame number 9 and add one more position keyframe. Let me increase the BG layer duration first. Now here change the camera's Z axis position as I shown in the video. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. Now let's add the standing characters. First extend this layer duration. Now adjust this image's Z axis position. Let's keep this image Z axis position at 2500%. Let's adjust the rotation. Simply keep the rotation value negative, 180 degrees. Now adjust the scale if needed. Let's keep it here. Now we have something like this. In this way, you need to add more standing characters. Make sure that you need to keep different Z-axis values. Let's match this character color to the scene. Let's add one more character. Let me adjust this image. I'm keeping this image's Z-axis position at 2900%. Previous image we kept at 2800%. Here I added one more image, guys and I keep this image's Z-axis position at 2500%, and I pasted previous image's color grading to this image to match the scene. Let's keep it here. As you can see, guys, this image is visibiling here. I don't want to visible like this, so let's create the position keyframes to this image. This will create the little motion to the image and its look awesome. At the first keyframe, change the image position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. In this way, I have added more characters and I animated this way. This is my animation, guys. Now export the animation and import it on a new project. Here I have added exported clip guys. Now move 8 seconds forward and add this wooden texture image. Let's change this image Z axis position. I am keeping it at 1000%. Now let's change video clip layer Z axis position. I am keeping it at 900%. Now add the camera at the first frame. Also active the camera. Now adjust the camera's Z-axis position until the video clip layer fit into the canvas size. Now let's extend this layer duration. Now at this mark, add the position keyframe to the camera layer. Move 3 seconds forward and change the camera's Z-axis position as I shown in the video. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Let's fit this image into the canvas size.
Now apply the flip layer effect to the wooden texture image layer. Here change the axis value to 90 degrees. At the first mark add the angle keyframe to this layer. Move to this mark and change the angle value to negative 65 degrees. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. As you can see guys, this image not fits perfectly at the bottom. Let's fix it by creating the position keyframes. Add the position keyframe at the first mark. Move here and adjust the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now let's create the same flip animation to the video clip layer. Now add a scale keyframe here. Move here and adjust the scale as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Add the position keyframe at the first mark. Move here and adjust the position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now enable the stroke to video clip layer. Change the stroke color to white and adjust the stroke size. Now here add the stroke size keyframe. Move one second forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease the stroke size to 0%. Now let's add the shadow to video clip layer. Now start this layer from here. Now we have something like this. Nice. Now apply the squeeze effect to the video clip layer. At the first mark, add the strength keyframe. Move to the second mark and add one more. Now add one more keyframe at the middle of these two keyframes. At this keyframe, increase the strength value to 0.3%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we will apply one more effect called RGB split. Let's keep strength value 0% for a moment. At the first mark, add the strength keyframe. Move to the second mark and add one more. Now add one more keyframe at the middle of these two keyframes. Here change the strength value to 0.1%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. Now at this frame, add these images. Let's hide these images for a moment. Let's extend this layer duration. Now change this image's z-axis position as shown. Now at the first frame of this layer, add the position keyframe. Move two seconds forward and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, adjust the position as I shown in the video. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now, let's create a little scale animation to this image layer. Now, from this keyframe, move two seconds forward and change the image position as I shown. Now, make this animation easy in and ease out. Now, at here, decrease scale a little bit. Now, enable the stroke to this image. Change the stroke color to white and adjust the stroke size according to your image. Now apply the flip layer effect to this image layer. Here change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now add the angle. Keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Move two seconds forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe adjust, the angle value as shown. Now we have something like this. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Move here and adjust the angle value a little bit. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we will apply the RGB split effect. Keep the strength value 0% for a moment. Add the strength keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Move here and add one more. Add one more at the middle of these two keyframes. Now here, increase the strength value to 0.1%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. 
Also add a strength keyframe here. Add one more here and increase the strength value to 0.1%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we will apply one more effect called squeeze. Add the strength keyframe at the first frame of this layer. Move here and add one more. Add one more at the middle of these two keyframes. Now here increase the strength value a little bit. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Also add a strength keyframe here. Add one more here and increase the strength value to 0.1%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. The squeeze strength is too high, guys. Let's decrease the squeeze strength value to 0.1, and it's perfect for me. Okay, friends, in this way, you need to animate the remaining two images. For this image, remove the last two keyframes of flip layer effect, squeeze effect and RGB split effect. Now start this layer from here. And this one from here. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. And also, comment below whose editing you want to recreate next.